Dottie Stitching Scotty and welcome to my video about how to cross stitch and I share my love of cross stitch with you and also my Scotties and this is my one of my Scotties Striker. He's mad because he hadn't gotten a treat but today is January or February the 3rd and it's 2024. I just want to thank you for joining. Um, <clears throat> I also would uh, like to welcome all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for the shout out, uh, Denise. Uh, that's Nisi Lynn. If you haven't watched her floss tube, you need to because she is just awesome. Um, I love seeing what she stitches and uh, she's funny. <laughs> she just cracks me up. So anyway, um, be sure and watch Nisi Lynn and she has lots of giveaways too and she stitches samplers and all kinds of things. Okay, also, I would like to shout out uh, the Camping Stitcher. Uh, she's got a really neat some really neat floss tubes. Um, she also has an Etsy shop, and I have featured her before, and it has adorable patterns. She's got two beautiful Valentine patterns and a beautiful snowman pattern. Um, be sure and go check those out. Uh, that's Chris the Camping Stitcher on Etsy. And then, <clears throat> I would like to shout out Chrissy and Linda from Finally a Farm Girl. They had the Mega Epic Whip Parade. And it was a long whip parade, but they stitch big stuff. I mean, everything just about is big. I think the smallest thing that Linda was stitching was a needle roll. And, uh, you know, I was like, yay! <laughs> but uh, they get it finished, and it looks beautiful. So, uh, And they also stitch a lot of those... Uh, things that look like quilt patterns, you know, um, Carolyn Manning, I think her name is. Yeah, they stitch a lot of those. I'll just sew on the sewing machine. <laughs> All right, then um, be sure and go watch them. And Chrissy's going to be at the Nashville Needlework Market on March 1st through 3rd, I think it is. And uh, be sure and uh, check out the uh, your shops, you know, for pre-orders and things and Instagram so you can uh, see some of her beautiful patterns. Then I would also like to uh, shout out Two Tall Stitchers. They had an FFO parade of 2023. Now you may have already seen it, but I was a little bit behind. And uh, Jen and Carol, I tell you, they, they finished a lot of stuff. Carol didn't count, but Jen did, and she had some really good stuff. And she's also over the FF, hashtag FFO Challenge 2024, along with Penny's Daughter Shares. Um, and Penny's Daughter Shares, she has some beautiful finish finishes, so you need to watch her too. So anyway, um, now that I've shouted 50,000 people out, but, you know, those are my favorites. I like to watch them. Um, I would like to tell you about the Superb Owl Stitch-In on February the 11th from 5 to 10. Yes, that's Super Bowl Sunday. Um, so uh, while your husband's watching the football game, you can go and, and uh, visit with your stitchy friends and stitch. It's 5 to 10 Eastern Standard Time, and it's hands-on design and Lindy, Lindy stitches. So Stephanie and Kathy are putting this on, and uh, it's really going to be a great event like the Jingle Ball. So be sure and check um, either one of their websites for uh, instructions on how to enter and uh, buy a ticket because you do have to buy a ticket and you get two free patterns and you may not want to wait till the last minute because they're giving you the patterns and you'll be able to stitch them if you kit them up and I've got mine already kitted up with the fabric and the um, floss so I'm ready to go so hopefully I'll see you all at the stitching tables but there's going to be stitching tables they're going there's going to be that speed dating thing they had they're going to have some game shows and stuff. Um, their husbands are going to be there also. Just going to be a lot of fun, you know. So, we love seeing Mr. H.O.D. So, um, <clears throat> and so now we'll get to see Mr. Lindy Stitcher again. So, yay. All right. Uh, now, let's get on with it. First, I'm going to show you a past fully finished object. And since it's Valentine's Day month, this is the Valentine Medley. And this is my heart and hand. This is an oldie bit of goodie. I think I finished this one last year. 
and uh, this is my finish and I just uh, found a board at Hobby Lobby a frame at Hobby Lobby and it said something else on it put magnets put some fabric behind it and uh, put some rickrack behind it and put it on foam board foam core and it's on two it's on 28 count and it's two over two with all the call for threads. So um, that's that's this one. So really, really cute. Okay, so we're getting ready for Valentine's Day. I haven't started decorating, but I'm getting it out. All right, then switching back to winter time, I have uh, one fully finished object this week. I would have had two, but um, I did some miscalculating, so I had to go to plan B on my finish for this. Okay, this is a pattern that I got free, and I got this one. Um, I think it was on everything. Cro yeah, it was downloaded from everything cross stitch. It was their pattern of the month. And um, this is Oh the Weather. Isn't that cute? Little snowman. And it's a Sue Hillis design. And I decided I would finish him into a little pillow. And he had so many pretty colors that I did some patchwork. You know, just some little bands of different colors. Borders, I mean. And he's on a 28 count like some kind of blue Lugana. And then this is how I did the back. And I just stuffed it with polyfill. So this is my finish for this one. I really enjoyed working on this. Um, my snowflakes are uh, confetti stitches. I did like the pin stitch. And um, then I've got some straight stitches on the scarf. And the fabric is just fabric I had in my stash. I know the one on the back is a Moda, but I don't know what the rest of them are. So, anyway, nice, 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 because they came from here and there. Okay, <clears throat> so now, um, I've done that. So, um, let's see. Let's get on with my uh, works in progress, okay? Okay, the first one was a new start, okay? Um, this one, and you're like, you don't need any new starts, but I had to have a new start because I always do winter cross, or I always do cross stitch camp. And Sherry from Colorado Cross Stitcher, she has some awesome, uh, camps. She has a summer cross stitch camp that lasts for three months. And then in the winter time for one month in February, she has the winter cross stitch camp and it's hashtag Winter Cross Stitch Camp 2024, hashtag Colorado Cross Stitcher. And then you might want to tag her also to make sure your entry gets in. What you do is you take a picture of all the things that you started with, your pattern, your floss, and your blank piece of fabric, you know, that has no stitching on it. And this month, it had to be something with an animal. So I chose a turkey because I need more Thanksgiving things. I had this in my stash. It was already kitted up. This is oldie but a goodie. It was one of the Bent Creek zipper kits, and it's called Leaves. And it's on 18, yeah, it is. It's on uh, 18 count natural light linen, and you use two, you use one strand of pearl cotton over two threads. So it's kind of big. And it went really fast my first time stitching. I just sat down one little evening and started stitching. So I've got the little pilgrim part of the turkey. He just needs some tail feathers. So I've got a really good start on this. And uh, I really enjoy stitching with pearl cotton. At first I didn't like it, but um, this, this was really fun. It goes fast and uh, he's cute. He's gonna be such a cutie. So, um, and all I gotta do is get him finished. I don't have to have him fully finished, just finished. And then uh, you take a picture and you post it by the last day of the month. And then you watch Sherry's cross stitch, or cross stitch floss tube 
and she will give away the prizes and, and uh, everything like that. So I enjoy doing that. It's always nice to do things with friends. So, um, and I, I just love Sherry. She's so sweet. I met her at the attic and she's just wonderful. All right, next, <clears throat> yeah, the frog came to visit, or he's going to visit, um, because I'm going to have to be doing some. I picked this up because, you know, I've been wanting to finish a lot of things, and I said, oh, this is quick, easy. I can finish this in no time. It's the cartouche from the needlework uh, pop-up gathering that Friend Stitch had. Mm, yeah. Okay. All right. You see this, you'd think that I could look at the pattern and I could figure out that there is something wrong. All right, I'm gonna hold it up. I haven't ripped yet. Well, I ripped two stitches and I was like, no, I need to do this so they'll know I've done something because at the time I had not done much. And this is on um, 28 count, no, it's on 32 count linen. And um, yeah. It's 32 count friendship blend linen over two threads with two strands of floss. And I'm using Weeks Dye Works. Do you see how this one's nice and even and this one's just up in there? So I gotta rip all this out. Yay, I am so excited. So, um, I'm really not. But, um, <laughs> yeah, this one, mm, yeah. What you think is, you know, you get in a hurry, and yeah, it's not good to get in a hurry. It's really not because um, it doesn't, it doesn't pay. It doesn't. So I'm going to be ripping that out. What a waste of time. That just, yeah, just can't stand it because I have to waste time ripping something out. But okay, sirrah, sirrah. That's the way it goes. All right, now the next thing <clears throat> we're going to do is we're going to talk about whip go. Okay, <clears throat> um, Jessie Marie does stuff. Um, she has a floss tube also, and she announces the two numbers on the 25th, thereabouts. And um, sometimes it's 24th because of people in Australia and Hawaii and stuff. But anyway, um, she chose 22 and number... Uh, darn. Anyway, it's to finish your works in progress. It is like a bingo board, and you put 24 or 25 items on here that you'd like to work on. And, yeah. So, anyway, she chose um, number 9 and number 22. Number 9 is the Oz Biscornu, and I said I wanted to finish. Little did I know that there was so much stitching. And I didn't get to stitch a lot, but I did get a fair amount done. And this is what I've got done. It's on a 40 count. And I'm using one strand of floss over two threads. See, I've got three Dorothys. I'm getting ready for the third or the fourth Dorothy. And I'm getting ready to start the Cowardly Lines Square. And then when I finish this one, I need to outline all the way around it because that's important for putting the Biscornu together. And then I've got that other side to do. I forgot about that other side. Otherwise, I would have just said I would have had one side done. I can't believe it, but this is so beautiful and I do love it. But I have to work on this, um, you know, when I've got good light and I can concentrate because uh, the frog visits here. He, he does. Yes, but uh, this is a picture of the pattern, and it's by Cross Stitch Joe, and it's called the Oz Biscornu. And here's the front, and then here's the back that I forgot about. So when I get those, I'll put them together and have a fully finished object. So I'm going to keep working on this because just because I didn't get to block out that, um, uh, this month doesn't mean I won't block it out sometime. So I've got it all ready to stitch on. And uh, I'm not going to forget him. Because that is definitely a goal to finish. Then the next thing I had was Ebenezer from the Calico Cross Stitch. No, Calico Confectionery. Oh my goodness. And 
<clears throat> isn't he cute nice and Christmassy okay he was number 22 and I said I was going to have a finish okay and I did so at least I've got one square off and this is Ebenezer he's all finished and I was planning on having him uh, fully finished but I have misplaced the finishing materials that Donna gave us at the retreat for him so I've got to look for them I was cleaning or arranging my cross my craft room as you can tell my trash can is erupting trash <laughs> because I was like oh I don't need this anymore you know and of course it was just trash but still but um <laughs> anyway um yeah when I move things then I forget where I put them mm -hmm. yeah so uh we're going on the search again tomorrow yeah so he's on 28 count vintage country mocha Two strands of DMC over two threads. And I really enjoyed working on him. He was a lot of fun. Even with all that black. So, so he's going in my little finishing pile and he will not be going in under the bed box. Okay, so. <clears throat> next um, is February's whip go. So, I've got one block off and there's going to be another one because at number nine it's not going to beat me so she called out number three and number 24 oh that's upside down okay so number three i did not work on but i'm going to show it to you in case you did not see my last uh floss tube when i showed it uh this one's by the cricket collection <clears throat> And this is Autumn, and it was gifted to me by a very, very sweet viewer. Very sweet. I started this at StitchCon, and my goal this month is to have a page finish. So that means I will have M and N. No, U, M, N. So I'll have this much. Okay. All right. It's on uh, Even Weave. I think it's Lugana, and it's 28 count. And there's my U and part of my M. I haven't touched it, so I'm going to take a picture of it and post it on uh, the Jessie Marie Does Stuff's Facebook group. That's what you do is you take a picture of your starting point, and then you take a picture of either your finish or your ending point. And, uh, you know, that's a good thing. Okay, so there is that one, and I'll look forward to stitching on that one because it's, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoy stitching on it. Not that you could tell because I don't stitch a lot on it. <coughs> and last but not least, my other whip go is number 24, Christmas Delivery. And I said I wanted to stitch on this five days because it's kind of large. And there's a lot of stuff on it. And this is from Cottage Garden Samplery. Or Cottage Garden Samplings. And it is. Yeah, it is. Um, it's 185 by 125, so it's kind of big. And they put theirs on Alchemy Linen by Picture This Plus. Well, you know, Picture This Plus was hard to find back then. So when I was at StitchCon, I bought a piece of 28 count under the sea by, um, oh, shoot. Um... No, it's, yeah, it's under this, okay, it's under the sea fabrics, 28 count, and it's called Sea Witch Opalescent, Opalescent, blah, blah, blah. yeah, okay, my tongue is twisted, so this is called Sea Witch, and it really shines, look at all this stitching I need to do, my daughter and her husband got me this for Christmas year before last, and I kept saying, I'm going to start this, I'm going to start this, but it took me a while to find a piece of linen I wanted, <clears throat> and look at that. I've got the whole tree done and decorated. And I've got the back of the rocking horse that's in Santa's sleigh. Now, when I started, I did not have any. I had the two bottom tiers of the tree. No ornaments, no star, no pony, nothing. So, I got a lot done. Already. In day one. Yay. 
So, uh, four days to go. This will be an easy goal to meet. Now, I want to see how far I can get um, because I'm just going to stitch my heart out on this one because it is so pretty and I would love to have it done by Christmas. I really would. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So, what, um, what have I been doing this month or this week? Well, <clears throat> uh, let me get this in here because if I don't get in here, I'll lose stuff. Okay, I went to the Sip and, not Sip and Stitch, Stitch and Thrift Retreat last weekend with the South Carolina Stitchers in Lexington, South Carolina. And I had the best time. Oh, I met some of the sweetest ladies. I finally got to meet Lori, Mischievous Stitches. Um, I had just been dying to meet her. And we live fairly close together because she lives in Aiken. And you'd think, you know, South Carolina, we could meet up. No. So anyway, um, I also ran into Heather from my LNS <clears throat> and several ladies that watch my channel. Hello, ladies. How y'all doing? Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, I mean, we had the best time. We had good food. I mean, it was great. So anyway, what I'm going to do at the end of this video is I'm going to post um, um, I'm going to post the um, brag table. Yes, that's what I'm going to call it. Except I need to call it the brag bench because we were at a church and I think it's on a church pew or something. But anyway, we had some beautiful pieces. And um, just Jean Farish was there. I got to meet her and she sat at my table. I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my goodness. Um, sitting with the queen of stitching, you know, because, I mean, she knows her stuff, and she's been around for a while. She'd just gotten off a cruise with Jan Hicks, um, a needlework cruise. So, uh, I hear those are great fun. Um, but anyway, and so she stopped by the stitching kit in the shop, and I went by there, and there'll also be a video, a shop tour of that at the end of the video. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's a really nice shop. It's an Irmo. Um, and I really had a good time, and, um, Rebecca and Caroline, I think that's their names, um, it's been a week, and I've been asleep, and I stink with names, but anyway, they were very, very sweet, and I just highly recommend, if you're in the area, you need to stop by the Stitching Kitten, they've got a lot of good fabrics, um, if you're looking for a pattern that's on your unicorn list, you need to go there because she bought another shop's patterns out. So she has some oldies, but goodies. I found a prairie schooler there I didn't have, so I was excited. And, um, let's see, what else? Um, well, anyway, all right. So I'm going to show you what I got at the Stitch and Thrift. There was a freebie table. And people also brought tape. I just put mine on the freebie table. Um, and uh, people also brought things, you know, to sell. And there was a vendor there also. Um, I can't think of the name of them, but you'll see it in the video. They gave us a couple of free patterns that said Stitch Thrift Retreat 2024. And uh, I'll just go like this real quick. So it was really cute. Um, but anyway, some of this I got off the free, oops, some of this I got off the freebie table and some I got, I bought. And now this was on the freebie table. It's a Shepherd's Bush pattern, Americana alphabet. Let's see. And then, um, <clears throat> this was on the freebie table. Um, Lifetime of Memories by Stony Creek. It's got confirmation, graduation, marriage, uh, adoption, all kinds of things. So that was pretty. Then, <clears throat> uh, Doggy String, because I didn't have that one. Um, I got a whole bunch of floss drops. Because somebody had decided they didn't want, or floss bobbin winders, excuse me. 
Then I got this pattern. Um, it's from the silver. It was originally from the Silver Needle, and it says "Be Happy" by Shepherd's Bush. And I do love a Shepherd's Bush pattern. I got this one also. It's from Jeanette Douglas, and it's B stitches. Isn't that beautiful? Then I got fabric. 32 count murky and you know murky's hard to find and here is what I got isn't that pretty it's gonna make a nice spooky piece mm-hmm yes and the price was really really good I, I almost felt like I was cheating her because it was it was really good but she couldn't um, she just couldn't use this anymore, so she said, I want, I want somebody to have it and love it. Then, I got this Plum Street Samplers Mount, a Mount Vernon Christmas. It's all kitted up. Floss, finishing materials, everything. What a deal. I mean, it was so cheap. Then, I got Darling Buds of May from Blackbird Designs. And it's all kitted up. Isn't that beautiful? And it's on. It's got 32 count winter brew. Mm, one of my favorites. Then <coughs> <coughs> I'm not gonna take this out of the bag because it'll take too long. I got a piece of 32 count. Picture this plus sand. There you go. Is what color it is. It's kind of golden. Then I got a piece of 35 count classic homespun. Um, oh no, excuse me. It goes with this. Um, I lied. Okay. Um, okay, it's called A Bowl Full of Marys. And it's Mary One. And it's all kitted up, I think. Yep, it's got the floss and everything. And there it is. Isn't that pretty? Then, I have been looking for this for forever. Petty Point Belfast Linen. Raw white. Isn't that gorgeous? 32 count. I needed this for Amy Brecken piece. Brecken. Okay. Then, I got some Lakeside Linen. Autumn Gold Vintage 32 count. I mean, mm, oops. And then I got Lakeside Linen Vintage Exemplar 32 count. There's a lot of linen in there. Yeah. Then I got the Scarlet House Bringing Home the Tree. And I look at this every time I would go to the attic or anywhere where they sold her patterns. And I was like, oh my goodness. It has everything to finish it. I'm telling you, she made me very, very happy. And then I went back. <laughs> yeah, because it was like, Somebody came and sat down next to me. She said, look what I got. And I was like, oh my goodness. So I had to get up and go again. And I saw a Thankful Life chair arm pin kit from Heartstring Samplery. This is the entire kit. Isn't that cute? And that'll be perfect to go over my armchair. So I need that because I'm all the time dropping my scissors. And then, I know, it's like Christmas. Um, Oops. Let's see. I don't think I can show this one. Okay. Well, I can't show you the whole pattern. I don't know why there's not a picture in here. Anyway, this is from Lottie Daw, and it's the schoolhouse, like this. 
but that didn't do it justice. And all the stuff is here to finish it. I mean, what a deal. Just amazing. And, I know, and then I went to another table and I got this 100 cross stitch Christmas ornaments, regularly $14.95, and I got it for a dollar. Look at this. And this is just a sampling of what's in the book. So, so cute. Look at that beautiful heart right there. I just love that. So anyway, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. And it's got oodles and oodles of cute, cute ornaments. So, mm. okay. And then on the freebie table, I got 55 Christian symbols unlimited for the Chris Mons. See, aren't those beautiful? Okay, and I got this Teresa Kogut pattern, Jesus is the Reason. So cute. And then I got Easter Bunny Row from Bent Creek. Just adorable. Now, some of those were free and some were not. Oh, and I forgot one. And then here's Liberty from Shepherd's Bush. I do love me a shepherd's bush pattern. So I was just really, really, really excited. And then I went to a uh, Stitch and Kitten and I bought the new Valentine's Day Quaker. This was before I got all this other stuff. If I had gotten all this other stuff first, I wouldn't have bought anything else. I would have been like, oh, I'm done. But I had already bought this because I saw it done and in person and it's beautiful. Now, they didn't have the color thread I wanted, so when I do start this, I will show you what I substitute it with. And then they had this red, white, and blue kit, um, and it's got the fabric, the floss, everything. And you know I do love patriotic, so got that. And then... I got Witchy Washy, and I got the buttons and the pattern. Raise the roof. These are hard to find. These are so cute. These are going to look great in my uh, laundry room. And then, like I said, I found a prairie schooler. And this one's March brings its uh, daffodils, but it's March. And I'm trying to collect the set so I can do one of the big ones every month. I'll be doing this one. All right, and uh, I got one piece of fabric, which I'm going to use for um, my, yeah. Oh, the Superb Owl Stitch In, the Lindy Stitches thing. It's a green piece, but I'll show you that later. And then Jean Farish had a, had like a trunk shut, her last, her latest pieces. And I saw this one from Jean Farish. It says, the hair in the basket says, threads through time connect all generations of needleworkers. We learned our art from the ones who came before us. Today we teach and preserve for the ones who follow us. And it says, the work of my hands. And I thought, wouldn't that look great in my craft room? Just love it. And Jeanette, I know it has a bunny on it, but you can't have it. That's my daughter. She likes bunnies. And that's what I got. Can you believe it? I mean, Christmas has come. So, I was really, really excited to get all of that. <laughs> and uh, I feel a little greedy. <clears throat> but I didn't get as much as some people got. I'm telling you. But it was such a good deal. I mean, it was like going to a yard sale. It was wonderful. Okay, like a dream come true. Then, people came by your table and left you things. And... I don't want to leave anybody out because I'm sure I will. Um, but I got this adorable, ad and if I do and find something, like I've lost uh, a couple, mis not lost, I've misplaced a couple of things um, from other retreats, but when I find them, I will show them. Um, look at this little Kleenex holder. 
and it's a little dog. And she said, yeah, I know you like your Scotty, so I made this just for you. Thank you, Sherry. And then she also um, gave me a little heart scissor fob with a needle threader, which I'm going to be putting on my scissors, and a little strawberry candy in this cute little bag with gnomes on it. Thank you, thank you, Miss Sherry. That was so, so sweet. So sweet. Then, I don't remember who gave me this, but, oh, no, I don't remember who gave me this. But, um, stuff for ruching, trim. So, always need that. Thank you, thank you. Then, um, well, I guess this was one of the goodies or something, maybe. I don't know. But, hang on. Yeah, I know it was because everybody got one. Um, oh, and mine's yellow. The lady across from me had a pink one. Isn't that cute? And I got some floss drops with a needle. And it says Stitch and Thrift, January 26, 27, 2024. And I can't wait till they have another one. And it was in this cute little bag. Okay. And... I got also some pins and needle minders, and I cannot remember what I did with them. I know they're in a safe place. They're probably in my stitching bag. Hmm. Yeah, which I've not fully, well, I've unpacked, but I'm not fully unpacked. So anyway, when I get those, because Jean Farish gave me a needle minder, and I was like, oh my goodness. So I was thrilled to have something from her. <clears throat> okay, now, and I had a Great fun. So, if you get a chance, go to your local um, or statewide stitch-ins. <clears throat> I had to drive a little bit, but, and I was there with uh, Crystal Rowe. Uh, she's a floss tuber. Be sure and watch Crystal's floss tube if you hadn't. And I was also there with uh, Southern Yankee Stitcher. Uh, be sure and watch her floss tube also. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, they're at a retreat this weekend at the Barefoot Needle Arts Retreat. Okay, uh, let's talk freebies. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, the first one I want to show you is from Threadwork Primitives. No. Nope, nope, no, nope. It's not. I lied. Yeah, it is. It's Threadwork Primitives. Excuse me. Mm. Okay, it is from it it is from her new design. Uh, just for this month's freebie, she charted a motif from an antique Pennsylvania Dutch show towel. And she stitched this one on 36 count linen in Wix Dye Works Turkish Red and made it into a pinwheel using three inch chipboard circles. Now, the freebie will be included with every order from her Etsy shop, which is linked in her bio on Instagram, but I'll put the link below. But this is what the freebie looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? And she's going to be our free featured Etsy shop today, Threadwork Primitives will. So I will put the link below and I will show you some of the goodies that she has. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. Okay, that's not it, that's not it, that's not it. That's not it either. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here's one. It says Valentine's Day. It's a primitive cross stitch pin keep. Isn't that beautiful? Then we have Keep a Gentle Heart. Uh, this one is Quaker Holly Pinwheel. I picked it because it had hearts on it. <laughs> but then I got to noticing, oh, this looks like Christmas. But it's cute. <clears throat> Excuse me. Then um, there's a crow with St. Patrick's Day, you know, because some people have stitched way ahead. So there's something for y'all. He's so cute. And then we have, um, I can't remember the name of it. Now, where'd it go? Um, 
something like love abides or love grows or something like that. Yeah. But isn't that pretty? Lots of hearts in red. Then we have a fractor, Pennsylvania fractor. <clears throat> Key to my heart. Be warm. He's so cute. Little whimsical snowman playing with the crow. And then winter angels. Then we have Fleur de France. Aren't this pretty? Then we have Red Letter Sampler. Here's another heart. I can't remember what this one is. Primitive heart or something like that. It's beautiful. And then we have um, Bind My Wondering Heart to Thee. And it's called Wondering Heart. Isn't that beautiful? And we also have Love and Be True. It's a Valentine duo, primitive uh, cross-stitch pillows. So, so pretty. And very uh, seasonal. <clears throat> okay. So, be sure and check out Threadwork Primitives Etsy shop. Buy something. And you'll get that free pattern also. So um, you want to you want to do that. Um, okay, next the next free pattern. The reason I'm giving you so many is because uh, one's a snowman and then there's Valentine's. Okay, this is frosty, and you need to subscribe. You need to go to luminousfiberarts.com and subscribe to Missy's Misty's newsletter, and you'll get this free pattern. Isn't he cute? And you can make him blue, red, green, whatever color you want to. So, but I think he's adorable. Or you can make him a lot of different colors. Then, every year, yeah, I've not taken the Christmas music down yet. Sorry. It's in my sewing room. It does it all year. But anyway, um, Kathy Haberman from Hands On Design, she makes a, a Valentine, like a, a Valentine, um, Oh, goodness. Pattern every year or some pattern about love, I guess I should say, because of her anniversary and makes it for her husband. And this one's Let Love Grow. So you need to go to um, handsondesign.biz and um, I will put the link below for the download. And there is some one over one stitching in this. I would think it would be the words Let Love Grow. So, but isn't it beautiful? So there's three new patterns, one snowman and two Valentine Day patterns. Okay, so we're gonna do the shop tour. And I feel like I'm forgetting something. Free pattern, Etsy shop. Oh, and I was gonna do my January wrap up. Huh. Usually I'm not, I mean, it's right on the list and I didn't even see it. Okay, I've only had one new start in January. Yay, and it's already a finish. <laughs> um, I had six finishes. I, I FFO'd or fully finished 14 objects. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I had no, no stitch days. And I went to one retreat because I did call the Stitch and Thrift a retreat. And so... I'm doing the sales or stitch alongs. I'm doing the hashtag FFO challenge 2024. And that's with uh, Jen Quilter and Penny's Daughter Shares. Um, I'm also doing the li hashtag Lizzie Kate series sale. And uh, Two Tall Stitchers are sponsoring that. Uh, that's hashtag Lizzie Kate series sale, like I just said. Mm, goodness. 
and I'm doing the uh, don't remember what that is. It says Quilted Christmas Sal, and I can't remember what I'm doing for it. Mm. Guess I better figure that out, hadn't I? Um, then Whip Go 2024 with Jessie Marie Does Stuff. I'm doing that. And uh, so for the Lisey Kate series, I finished November, which I showed last month. And the Whip Go, I finished Ebenezer so far. So, <clears throat> and so that gives me 85 whips. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you know, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I would like to be stitching all of them, but I am not an octopus, as I saw on somebody's channel. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. Um, but anyway, join me next week. Dolores was not with us this week because she's out um, visiting. So um, hopefully she's having a really good time. Um, hopefully we'll get uh, her back when uh, the frame order comes in because we do have an order at the framer, both of us. So until then, I hope you stitch all the things. Don't be worried about how many whips you do or don't have. Uh, just do what makes you happy. And I hope you'll join me, like, subscribe, and uh, all the things. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>
Scotty. Well, thank you.